and to details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi on Thursday met a group of graduates from presidential leadership program at the presidential headquarters where the head of state followed upon the latest efforts in a number of presidential initiatives, on top of which Decent Life Initiative. The meeting also tackled the state's efforts exerted in localizing development through linking the initiative with an integrating project for small and medium industries. During the meeting, President El Sisi directed to integrate all government initiatives and efforts and to boost the development of human resources through creating job opportunities for youths all over the country. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli hailed on Thursday President Abdel Fattah Sisi's historic decision on cancelling the state of emergency, as he said reflected the stability of Egypt. Chairing a weekly cabinet meeting, the Prime Minister also lauded Egypt's pursuits for accelerating development efforts with international being embodied by President El Sisi's three-way summit with the presidents of Greece and Cyprus in Athens and the Romanian president's visit to Egypt. Madbouli praised President El Sisi's speech at the Cairo War a week where he stressed the necessity of hammering out a legally binding and balanced agreement in the nearest time on the terms of filling and operating the Renaissance Dam along a UN Security Council statement on the issue. The fourth edition of the Cairo Water Week 2021, which was held in the capital this week under the patronage of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, concluded on Thursday. During the final session, Egypt and South Sudan signed cooperation agreements in the fields of managing water resources and floods. Speaking during the final session, Dr. Mona Sayed, head of planning sector Ministry of Irrigation, extended appreciation to President El Sisi for supporting the Cairo Water Week. She called for providing sustainable sustainable fund for water projects. She noted that consultations were held on means of facing water resources crisis. Meanwhile, the Minister of Irrigation honored a number of Cairo Water Week participants. Addressing the event via video conference, President El Sisi reiterated that Egypt took initiative along with other countries to rationalize the water usage as part of the comprehensive vision of Egypt 2030. The Cairo Water Week, organized by the Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation, is one of the biggest water-related events. The Egyptian-Russian joint military drills, Protectors of Friendship 5, wrapped up on Thursday. The joint exercises witnessed the participation of the Egyptian paratroopers and their Russian counterparts. They included the deployment of troops, equipment and vehicles. These came within the framework of the armed forces' keenness to exchange experiences and activate military cooperation with all friendly and brotherly countries. The two-day Egyptian-Sudanese joint military drill, Guardians of the South One, wrapped up after taking place at the Mohammed Naguib military base. The exercises witnessed the participation of military personnel of the Egyptian border guards and the Sudanese infantry personnel. The drills came within the framework of the distinguished military bilateral ties. Egypt's public prosecutor inspected on Thursday the correctional and rehabilitation facility in Wadi Natron to get assured that the human rights there are maintained and the prisoners are offered legal procedures. The public prosecutor inspected also the new courts at the centre and the offices designated for the members of the general prosecution. And to details, Minister of International Cooperation Rania Mashat announced that the World Bank has approved a $360 million development policy financing DPF to support Egypt's post-pandemic recovery. Al-Mashat said in a statement that structure reform policies are considered 
an integral part of the government's efforts which aim at achieving sustainable economic recovery. Mashat added Egypt's economy is resilient enough to face future shocks and this process will boost the government efforts to maintain economic reform pace and achieve the overall growth target. The World Bank added in a statement that the fund is to further support achievement of the operations development objectives. The Egyptian exchange ended Thursday in green, adding round 6.36 billion pounds to market capitalization due to Egyptian and Arab purchases. The main index, EGX30, increased 1.25%, closing at 11,507 points. The small and mid-cap index, EGX70, also increased by 2.50% to close at 2,305 points, while the broader index, EGX100, increased by 2.15%, closing at 3,288 points. Market capitalization recorded 764.34 pound billion at closing.